Hello friends, I am so happy that I had this opportunity to talk with you. I know that things have been a little bit different in your land and I am so sorry to hear what's going on, but I have very, very good news. I am able to communicate with you through these magical tablets and phones. I still feel like they're magic mirrors, but the kids tell me that they're not magical, but I still feel like you being able to see me from that far away, that has to be magic, right? <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, why does he look like this? Well, we have story time every day at the Ice Castle, even on the weekends. We try to incorporate all different stories because we were doing all of my stories and different stories, but you know, I thought we need to learn more about everyone else. So we actually have superhero stories and books that we can read to you. We have the five minute Marvel book that we just love. We also have a DC one that is very, very fun. <laughs> We also take story requests, so if you would like to join us, we would love that. We typically do it Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. and then on the weekends at 4 p.m. And I would absolutely love for you to join us. Tomorrow, we are actually doing Lightning McQueen, so Cars the Movie. We're making this craft, so yes, we do a craft as well. It's very, very fun. I wanted to read you a story though because I'm not sure that a lot of you know, but did you know that Olaf has little brothers? You may have heard from Frozen Fever that the snow geese came to be because a chirp. Yes, that's how they came to be. So what happened to all of them? Where did they all go? Well, I cannot wait to tell you. This is such a great story and we love, love, love hearing about it. I'm going to read to you out of the five minute Frozen stories. Little Brothers. I am excited to see the little snowmen, said Olaf. I can't wait to welcome them to the family. He made his way up the stairs to the ice palace, high on the North Mountain. First, I'm going to hug little Sludge, and then little Slush, and little Slide, and little... <gasps> so they are all in the ice castle. What a beautiful place for them to be. Very magical and very beautiful. Olaf threw open the doors to the ice palace. Dozens of snow geese scampered around the huge icy room. Hi, little guys, Olaf shouted. Wow, you're really having fun up here. But the snow geese did not stop to greet Olaf. <laughs> Look at how cute they are. They are so adorable. Look at all of them. There are so many of them. <laughs> hey, do you remember what his name is? Marshmallow. <laughs> Hey, Marshmallow, isn't it exciting that we have little brothers? Olaf called out to the giant snowman. Marshmallow sighed. He looked tired. Olaf turned toward one of the snow geese who was running by. Nice warm hug for you, little oof. The snowman fell off of Olaf and landed onto Marshmallow. <gasps> Aw, look at these little guys. They're so cute, Olaf said. Am I right? Marshmallow lifted a snow gee off his shoulder and sighed again. Um, Marshmallow, Olaf said, I know you love playing with our little brothers, but would it be okay if I took a turn? Look at all those snow geese on him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now, I know what else you're thinking. You're probably thinking, well, Marshmallow was a little mean, but he is actually very, very kind. Wait until you see. Come on guys, let's play, Olaf continued. As he tried to gather some of the snow geese into a group, he slipped and landed on his back. Whoa, the floor's all slippery. Slippery? Hey, that means we can skate. I just love skating. He just loves everything. Olaf got to his feet and twirled around. Follow me, little brothers. So they're ice skating. <laughs> Marshmallow shook his head and went outside. Huh, Olaf said, I guess Marshmallow doesn't like playing right now. <laughs> he was going outside. What if you had that many little brothers and your mom or dad went to the store and said, okay, can you watch your little brothers? What would you do? <gasps> There's a lot of them. <laughs> How about we give warm hugs? Olaf asked. <gasps> Can you please give someone that's near you a warm hug for me? I wish I could give you a warm hug. <laughs> he tried to hug each Snoggy, but not one of them stopped by to return Olaf's hug. They all scampered away. 
Oh, Olaf said. So you want to keep playing? That's fine. Just stay inside so nobody gets lost. Do you think that they stayed inside? Unfortunately, the snow geese were already headed out the door. <gasps> Can you believe all of them? <sighs> Lots of sneezes for those to happen. <laughs> well, outside is good too, and Marshmallow is out there. Maybe he wants to play now, Olaf said, following the snow geese. Marshmallow seemed to be playing a new game that Olaf had never seen, which included sticking icicles into the ground. He used the icicles to form a playpen around the snow geese to keep them contained. You have to know what a playpen is, right? <laughs> That's very creative. Did you notice that he has hair? His hair are icicles. Well, look at what he did. He took the icicles that were his hair and put them down to keep them contained and to keep them safe. Olaf wanted his little brothers to use the icicles to slide down the mountain with him. Instead, they were forming a line going up the stairs and Marshmallow was at the head of the line. Hey, what's everyone doing? Olaf asked. He had never seen the snow geese looking quite so orderly and behaved. <gasps> He's doing such a great job, Marshmallow. <laughs> and look at Olaf, he is so silly. Now, this is before he had his internal refrigeration. He has his little snow flurry to keep him from melting. Look at this, how cute. Marshmallow lifted the first little snowman onto the top of the banister. Then he gave the snow geese a firm push. The snow geese slid down, 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 down the banister, swoosh. That looks like a lot of fun, right? <laughs> and can I just show you one more thing? Look at his little tooth. He is just so cute. He's missing a few things. What do you think he's missing? He's missing a few things. <laughs> hey, that looks like fun, Olaf said. One by one and then two by two, the snow geese took their banister rides. This is a great idea, Marshmallow, Olaf said. <laughs> Look at that. And Marshmallow has so much patience, doesn't he? Those are a lot of little brothers. <laughs> no matter how quickly Marshmallow sent the snow geese down, the line was not getting any shorter. The snow geese raced back up the stairs because they wanted to slide down the banister again and again. Of course, that looks like so much fun, right? The sliding continued until dark when the snow geese finally seemed tired out. They shuffled back inside the ice palace where they piled up on top of each other. <laughs> Oh, look at how cute they look when they're sleepy. Do any of you have any little brothers or sisters? If so, I'm sure you can relate. Oh, wait until I show you how cute they are when they're sleeping. <laughs> look at them. They are so cute. And quiet. And all in one place. <laughs> Before long, almost every snowman was snoring. Even Marshmallow. Could you imagine him snoring? It is very, very loud. <laughs> Olaf was the only one still awake. He looked at the snoozing snowman and smiled. My little brothers are the best brothers ever. <laughs> and so he loves his little brothers. He is such a great brother. Well, I hope that you enjoyed that story and I hope that you'll be able to join me for other story times and activities at the Ice Castle. Like I said, we do it every day and we cannot wait to make more friends. We would just absolutely love to have you. We'll see you soon and make sure that you're staying positive. That is one of the biggest things that I want you to take away from today. Always stay positive.